Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In today's problem, we're going to be finding the, range, the domain, the range, the x-intercept, and the vertical asymptote of the log function f of x equals log base of one-third of x plus 5. And now to do this, this is a pretty like stringent problem, and what you have to do to solve this problem is understand the parent function of logarithms. And in particular, whenever you're dealing with a log function, like for instance, y equals log of x, there are a few things that you have to know. For instance, the domain of the log function, the range of the log function, the, the x-intercept of the regular log function with a base of 10, and the vertical asymptote of this function. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to draw the basic function of log of x. And it doesn't matter what your base is. These pretty much work all the same for all these problems, all right? So the first component is we know a few things. For one thing, the log ter the term of the log must always be greater than zero, which helps us identify with the domain. So the domain says, if you have some term like just x, the domain of this function then is going to be x is greater than zero. It cannot be equal to zero, because what happens is there's a vertical asymptote right down this line of zero. So whenever we see we have a function inside of this, that function must be greater than zero. This gives us our domain. Now the range of this function of log is always going to be from so here we see x belongs to x being greater than zero, which in turn becomes x belongs to zero to infinity open a parenthesis. And the range component, we know this is always going to belong to y uh, being all values. And what this translates into is that y belongs to negative infinity to infinity because it covers all values. And what happens in this function is from the vertical asymptote, this continues to go up crosses that zero here when x is 1 and goes up to infinity. And every time you get a value of 1 going into your logarithmic function, the log of any 1 is always equivalent to 0. So we know that the 0 occurs, or the x-intercept, when the log term is equal to 0, uh, actually equal to 1, not 0. So in this case, when log of x, we're looking for the intercept of log of x, we know that x equals 1, and the y will be 0. And this is the case for any kind of logarithm. Whenever the function of the log is equivalent to 1, you get your x-intercept. And finally, the vertical asymptote is based on the domain. We always set the log function within the parentheses equal to zero. Whenever the term of the logarithm is equal to zero, you have what we call a vertical asymptote. So let's use these four components to solve our four components of what we're doing. Again, our function of x is equivalent to the log of one-third of x plus 5. And what we want to do is solve first the domain, the range, the x-intercept, and then finally the logarithmic vertical asymptote. So here, solving for our domain of the function, we know that x plus 5 must be greater than 0 to find our domain. And when we solve this, we get x is greater than negative 5. Here's our domain. So the domain would be x belongs to and this is going to go from negative 5, not included, to infinity, because it says x has to be greater than negative 5. The range, however, is always the same for every long function. And the range is always going to be y belongs to negative infinity to positive infinity, because the, the, the logarithmic function goes from negative infinity to positive infinity without a problem. Now, the x-intercepts, we can solve when the logarithm of the inside 
is equivalent to 1. So we take the x plus 5, we set it equal to 1, and we solve this. So we subtract 5, and we get x is equivalent to negative 4. So the x-intercept is going to be negative 4 and 0. This is our x-intercept. Now finally, our final step in this problem is going to be to set the inside of the parentheses equal to 0 so that we could get our asymptote. Now the vertical asymptote, in this case, will be just setting x plus 5, which is the inside of the parentheses equal to 0. And here when we solve, we subtract 5 to both sides, we get our asymptote being x equals negative 5. And that concludes our four components. We have our domain, our range, our x-intercept, and our vertical asymptote. Thank you.